what to do to not mess up your first rental. I've kind of made similar videos, but this should be like a like a little checklist, however many checks we end up having. Um, so number one, buy a property that actually cash flows. Don't buy something that doesn't work out because that is how you fail in the rental business. In the long term, it'll probably work out, but um, just because that's how rentals are, but you still shouldn't do it. If you don't know how to run numbers, ask for help. And like I've said a million times before, make sure you account for vacancy, capex, maintenance, management, and all the other stuff in your calculation, right? Don't overpay for a property, kind of goes hand in hand. Um, so if something's going for like 250 and you can get like a thousand dollars a month in rent, you probably shouldn't buy it. Uh, third, inspect it to make sure it's not a lemon. Um, that means making sure you get a sewer inspection and having a good inspector walk through it if you don't know what you're looking at because even if it does cash flow good so let's say you buy a five fifty thousand dollar house and you're getting like a hundred thousand dollars a thousand dollars a month in rent um but you're constantly repairing it that's gonna kill your cash flow and again not make it a good investment so don't do that the other thing is once you do get the house, just make sure you know the fair housing laws. Many people don't know the fair housing laws on fair housing. So make sure you know that. Those are very, very important to make sure that you don't discriminate against anyone because of their sex, age, race, marital status. There's like a whole list. But then there are a few things you can discriminate on, such as credit score, income, etc. Well, I wouldn't even call it discriminate, but whatever. You know what I mean. Was I saying numbers? I don't think I was saying numbers. <laughs> um, next, make sure you have a good lease. So if you know someone that already has rentals that paid a lawyer, be like, hey, can I give you a few hundred dollars to borrow your lease? <laughs> or just pay a lawyer and get a good lease. Don't just download something off the internet um, because it might not be the best lease for your area or what you got going on, right? Next is make sure you have the proper insurance. Make sure that it's covered for what it should be and um, it shouldn't be, right? So make sure you're not paying too much or not enough for insurance. And probably the next one is one of the most important is closely behind don't overpay for a property <laughs> and that's pick a good tenant, right? So screen correctly, make sure that they meet your income requirements. For me that they've never been evicted before, at least in the past, whatever seven to eight years um, make sure that they don't have a criminal background and well I guess it all depends on what your requirements are right ours are like three times the amount of income for how much to rent is so if rent's a thousand they should be making three thousand a month etc and credit score if you care about that we do because we do background checks and credit checks and eviction checks on everyone so next thing that is important as buying the proper house that actually makes sense and you don't overplay and you cash flow and getting a good tenant is to train that tenant to be a good tenant. What's that mean? That means if they're late one day, late fee, no excuses. Rent is always due on the date that you agree upon in the lease. It's not due on the fifth sometimes or the 15th or the 10th or whatever. No, rent's always due on this date period, right? If they don't pay rent, after whatever year, some, some people have like a little buffer there, late fee. If they don't pay rent after whatever, you send them on eviction to quit, right? Eviction to quit, I can't talk today. You know what I mean. So those are some of the checklist items to make sure that you don't mess up your first rental. And I think if you do most of those, actually if you do all of those, you should have a good experience getting your first rental property and have a cash flow for you because that's what matters, right? And I'm gonna hit this one to death. Make sure you calculate vacancy, capex, maintenance, and management into your calculation. Because if you don't, it might look like a good rental, but once you calculate that stuff in there, it might not be. <laughs> you might be breaking even or losing money on it, right? So there you go. Those are the top things or those are the things that you should not do to mess up your first rental 
or the things you should do. I think it, it sounds better. But anyway, just follow the video, follow those things, <laughs> and you'll have a good experience renting out your first property. And side note, if you don't want to manage your property, let me know and we'll manage it for you in Michigan. Have a good one.